Off the top tonight, new video showing two boys beginning a fateful trip that would leave them lost at sea. That video and the discovery of the disabled boat, now the focus of an investigation. Recovered from that vessel, one of the boys' iPhones, and that was the focus of an emergency hearing today. Local 10 News reporter Derek Shore live now with our top story at 11. Derek. Well, before those two teens took to the sea, one of them grabbed their cell phone. Austin Stefanos grabbed his iPhone. That has since been recovered, and that's where the conflict begins. It is eerie new video, possibly the last images of 14 year olds Austin Stefanos and Perry Cohen disappearing at sea this summer. The two captured here on a surveillance camera on their way out on that fateful day in July. Then just last month, the boat the boys were last seen in located off of Bermuda. These are new images of it and the recovery. But it is not the boat itself that has the families at odds. We were highly disappointed that the FWC turned over the phone to Mr. Stefanos. Austin's Apple iPhone found in the wreckage, today the topic of a court battle. The phone <laughs> is the very first piece of physical evidence from the boys since they went missing. The Cohen family demanding the Stefanos hand the phone over to be analyzed, and both families be assured that they get whatever the phone may yield. No one wants another party filtering what in their view is relevant. In the end, the judge ruling the phone will head to Apple itself. The company has agreed to analyze it, and the judge will receive the findings and distribute the information to both sides. I think we accomplished what we wanted to accomplish today. Um, the biggest thing was I wanted this phone going to Apple from the beginning. We are very pleased that the judge has ordered that the phone be sent someplace for a thorough, transparent, and truthful investigation. So the next step will be to have that phone shipped to California to Apple, and they will see if they can recover anything from it. Obviously not a very likely situation, some admit, because that phone was heavily damaged in the wreckage and was sitting in seawater. Still, there is that possibility, and the family is keeping hope. We're live tonight. Derek Shore, Local 10 News. Derek, thanks a lot.